Hello everyone. So just wanted to give y'all an update on my seven weeks out. It is my last day. It's Friday today. It's been um, quite a week. My prep is getting harder and finding less time to do the things that I need to do and want to do. Wednesday was my check-in. It went really well. I dropped two more pounds from the previous week and a quarter of an inch my waist. So my weight is now at 147. My hips are 37.25 and then my waist is 25.25. My coach was super excited about my check-in this week just because we're finally seeing the changes that we've been wanting to see and it just means that all my hormone therapy and everything is going pretty well. I'm just praying it continues the next six weeks but with that being said my coach did up my cardio because my calories are on the lower side already there's not much we could do with that so I have 45 minutes also got a new workout program this week a new split I don't know how I feel about it <laughs> your girl already had three leg days now I have four <laughs> In my previous split, I had three gluten hammy days, two light shoulder pump days with back, and then I had a back lap focus day. I also added abs three times per week minimum. Now on my current workout split, I have four gluten hammy days, a delt day, lap focus day, and now I add abs and calves four times a week or more because your girl's calves are looking a little sad. I will also never hit legs back to back, so I'll definitely take my rest day in between day five and day six. That seems so extreme, but I have to get these legs in and I trust my coach. I'm just going to be tearing up these legs for the next few weeks and it's fine, but uh, I'm trucking through. I mean, it's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. I would definitely say that this prep has been a lot harder than my first one and I didn't think it was going to be like that because I did pretty well in my reverse but because of this hormone issue it's really causing a dent in my progress and making me have to work twice as hard to get to where I need to be because of everything and that's the thing about getting your blood work if you're doing bodybuilding if you're competing, I do recommend going to get blood work done before you start a prep because you don't want to be like me in the middle of prep trying to figure out what's wrong and then having to do all this during prep and can't figure out if you're going to do the show or not. It's so stressful. But yeah, that's it for my update for week seven. I am going to show you my meal prep, like how I meal prep for the next day and everything. I already have my food cooked but I wanted to show you like my prep bag and because it's very helpful. When I did my first prep, I was very unorganized. I didn't even have a prep bag. I was just like all over the place. Honestly, I think I mostly ate canned green beans and the packets of tuna all the time just because I was lazy and I'm trying to be better at it this prep, which I have done really good. So happy with that. So I wanted to show you this meal prep bag that I bought from Amazon brand name's called Think Fit, and I can't remember how much it costs, but I'll put it in the description. As y'all can see, this bag is not super large or anything either. They have different sizes of this bag. I got the smaller version just because I don't need a lot. Um, they have larger one on there as well. You open it up, and it opens like this. It comes with six containers, four of these like medium, larger size ones, and then two of the smaller ones. It also comes with two ice packs that you can put in between them. It has a zipper on the side, which is where I put my supplements. It came with a pill holder. So you just put your supplements in. You can open up the top of it to refill it and be careful whenever you're taking this off, you don't want it to break and then just refill that, pop it on, and then you just, and it goes to the next day. That is really convenient, because I forget to take my supplements when I'm in a rush in the mornings. Then it came with this shaker bottle, which I really like because the bottom comes off and you can put your protein powder. I'm currently not drinking any protein powder, so I'm not really carrying this, but it also has another one 
where it has this little container. You can put, you can take it out. You can put snacks in it, whatever you want, more supplements. Put it back on. And you don't necessarily need these bottom pieces. But yeah, that is my meal prep bag and I love it. I'm about to make my meals for tomorrow. What I do is cook everything I need for like a few days. And then every night before I go to bed, I'll just prep all my meals into my containers, weigh them out and have it there ready for the next day. It has made my life so much easier. I don't know why I didn't get one of these during my first prep. But yeah, let's get to prepping. I also got some travel utensils and they came in different colors. I got iridescent just because I like it, but it comes with two straws, straw cleaner, chopsticks, fork, knife, and a spoon. And it comes with this travel pouch that's easy to clean as well. All done with prepping my meals. We have tilapia and then I put my spinach in bags because the rare chance I actually get to heat up my food. I don't want my spinach to be all soggy. Y'all are probably looking at this like, girl, I know you're hungry, but can you tell which one's gonna be my favorite? This one right here is my post-workout meal, so I don't get protein shakes or protein bars anymore. I just eat some carbs right after my workout. But yeah, that's it. That is it for this vlog. I didn't have any workouts in this one. I don't know how many gluten hamey days y'all wanna see, but happy to post those if y'all do wanna see them. I will see y'all hopefully in week six. Hopefully things don't get crazier because I'm, I'm at the point where I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and that's okay, that's what's supposed to happen. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I will update y'all in week six.